The team at Sonzai Games have been making some really great retro-inspired platformers. Smelter was very much inspired by the 16-bit era. Super Sammy Roll was 3D platforming, so it was much more 32-bit inspired in my view. And with Bat Boy, we're returning back to that 16-bit era and potentially touching on some of the 8-bit era too. However, nothing is really repeated and it's going after very different mechanics compared to the previous two games. In Bat Boy, you aren't a boy with wings, you're a baseball bat-wielding character, and a lot of what goes on in this game, outside of the usual tropes of 2D platforming traversal, revolves around you using your baseball bat to volley back everyone else's attacks. So for instance, a pig might throw a shuriken at you, but you might use that to knock out something else entirely because you're able to redirect where you want that projectile to go and who you want it to hit. And that's part of the fun of Bat Boy is that you can really like reprioritize where you want to attack things depending on what's being thrown at you. This is also used for puzzle solving as well. So doors will quite often send out like mini flame th like balls at you which you can then bat back and then that smashes down the door for example and then as you progress through the game you'll come to bosses that you need to defeat and these are based around your friends that have been captured and brainwashed and hypnotized to try and attack you back so you don't like kill them because that would be, that would be a terrible friendship but what you do do is defeat them so that they get stunned and then once they've been defeated they offer you their skill now because you're a group of teenagers thinking that you're all superheroes everyone's dressed up with their own superpower so one of them enables you for instance like go underwater and start swimming but one of the early ones is about being able to throw your bat forward and have it spinning around and that can be used really nicely for a good attack works very well in boss battles i may add but it also enables you to then have it spinning around to turn cranks and levers to open doors really quickly and what's really well thought out is how the baseball bat is constantly given new things to do to make it relevant but then also to make each of the new levels that you're going to go into feel distinctly different and offering up a different challenge as you go through the game and it's one of the best things that bat boy does what's also really interesting is that there's lots of hidden things in early levels that you can't get to until you've got some of the skills later on in the game. So it does pay for you to be able to go back through earlier levels, replay them and get some of the hidden fruits in the game is probably the best thing that you'd want to go after because that allows you to then start upgrading your maximum health and maximum stamina points as well. You can get this just by collecting gems as well and translating that over into upgrading this stuff too. But you can really buff out Bat Boy by going and finding all of these hidden collectibles too. Bat Boy does come with a difficulty curve warning from me. The first 15 minutes I didn't really take to this game very well because I was struggling to land some of its precise platforming requirements that it expects the player to be able to give. And this was because I wasn't quite clicking with a couple of the moves that were going on initially. Um, when you press and hold jump, depending on how long you hold it, depends on the arc and how far and high you go. And quite often I was missing ledges. And then this continued on much more later onto the game where it expects you to combo chain lots of different moves together. So it might be that you're swinging from the ceiling, then doing a kind of mid-air jump. Then it might be that you're throwing out your baseball bat so that it spins around and catches a cog to open a door so that you can slide through it before you then hit an enemy. Those kind of like set piece events very difficult to pull off and so you will repeatedly die a few times and sometimes you've got quite a way back from your checkpoint to get back to where you were. The other thing I want to warn people about is that I'd upgraded my character in a way that meant that I felt like I was walking into sometimes unwinnable situations and this is because I'd spent all of my gems and any hidden fruit that I'd found to largely upgrade my HP rather than my stamina, forgetting that some of the special moves that you have, such as swinging from the ceiling, involves spending stamina points and so some of the later game combos are really difficult without having a plethora of stamina on hand to be able to either have a second go at something 
or being able to chain several of the same move to cross a large platform. And this is particular when you're um, trying to swing from the ceiling or you unlock the water bubble that allows you to walk across spikes. Those kind of moves are invaluable for you to be able to make a mistake and keep going. So, uh, but it also, some of the like later levels are designed in a way that you should still have stamina to be able to cover like a really long spike pit. So if you haven't invested in your stamina, those levels felt unwinnable to me. And so I then had to spend time grinding in earlier levels again to get enough gems to then upgrade my stamina and kind of tackle it again. So save yourself some time. Don't make the same mistake I did. And it feels a bit sad that you can end up in that kind of, oh God, I've got to go and grind situation with this game. I didn't mind too much because ultimately the more I played Bat Boy, the more I enjoyed it over time and it grew on me and warmed to me, especially as I started to get more used to the way how the platforming worked, where my character's arc for jumping, I got more used to it. And so what was an initial rough first impression very quickly started to turn to it being a very enjoyable experience. Add to that a stonking chiptune soundtrack. I really liked the 8-bit visuals here and some of the beautiful um, like keyframe motions that the characters have as they go along. There's a kind of nod to bad early 90s children's TV in the way how all the characters are set up to. I think fans of like really bad Rita Repulsa Power Ranger monologues will probably enjoy themselves with this game. And the baseball bats... Uh, traversal, environmental puzzle solving and combat elements I think felt fresh and stayed fresh because it was constantly drip feeding new skills for you to mix into the, your armoury as you went through the game. So yeah, this one went from a I'm not sure to a thumbs up quite happily from me and so if you enjoy your retro 2D platforming adventures, Bat Boy should definitely be on your list. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return, you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.